Okay, so I want to go over something um, that is going to be for the people who are absolutely, completely new to quadcopters. They, let's say you bought this and it's a, almost ready to fly, and what does that mean? Well, basically what it means is everything is ready here. It's waiting for you to connect your radio to it and also assign a few switches in the inside to get this flying. The switch that you have to set up is number one, a arm switch, and number two, a flight mode switch. And so I'm pretty new to the Tyrannus. I just got this set up for this quad uh, to start with. This is the very first thing I've ever flown with it. What's the next step? You've got it, you're ready to fly. Um, so what you're gonna do is you need to go to clean flight. Okay, um, so I've got beta flight for one of my other copters. This copter is gonna re run clean flight. You can flash beta flight to this, but if you're new, go straight for the clean flight. So what you have to do is go into the Chrome store, uh, look up clean flight configurator and download that to your app store. And I'll go ahead and open this up. And this is what the clean flight configurator looks like. What you're gonna do at this point is plug in your copter. Uh, you guys are gonna have your props off. I'm gonna do this a little bit differently. Anytime I plug in with my props on, I'm going to actually take a towel and place it over the top of my copter. So in case we get an uncommanded uh, throttle up, which shouldn't happen at this point, but it, even if it does, it will, I can just hold it down, unplug it, do whatever uh, we can with it. Because I don't have a flight battery uh, plugged into this. So what you guys are gonna do is go ahead and plug in the uh, little mini USB port to the very back of the copter here. You gonna plug that in. And we get a nice little tone here. Okay, so you're gonna go to this portion of the screen here and click connect. And I'll do this with my left hand here. And I do have my radio on as well, so I am talking to my radio. The first thing that you're going to do is uh, go up here to calibrate accelerometer. Make sure that your um, copter is on a flat, flat and level surface. You're going to click on that. I'm not going to do it because I have already done it a few times. Uh, but it just takes a few seconds and then you're ready to go. The first thing you want to do is go into your receiver tab. and. Um, if you're running Tyrannus, you're going to want this to say a T-A-E-R on it, which stands for uh, Throttle, Aileron, Elevator, and Rudder. That's the order in which the channels are assigned. And basically, if you take both of the sticks on your radio and put them to the lower left, it should look like this. Everything, all the first four channels should go off to that one side. Okay, so I have an AUX1 and an AUX2 uh, set up here. My AUX1 is my flight switch. It's a two-position switch, so set up, a, set up on your radio a two-position switch. This AUX1 channel is going to arm your copter, which allows your blades to throttle up. And the AUX2 is a three position switch, which is going to switch you from beginner mode to medium mode to expert mode, okay? So that has to be done in the receiver tab, so make sure you're connected and bound and everything. Now you need to go into the next tab down, which is called modes. And here you can see AUX1, AUX2, AUX2, AUX1. So I have air mode, uh, which you guys just want that on. Air mode and arming on the same switch. So basically when I turn my two position switch, you'll see these little tick marks right here and here. Flick from one side to the other. So this is disarmed and this is armed. And when you arm the copter, the, the props will spin up. So make sure you're careful about this. And now I have my three position switch which is um, angle, which is easy mode, which is self-leveling, horizon mode, which is uh, self-leveling and you can flip, and when there's nothing selected, so we have easy, medium, and when there's nothing selected, that means that it is expert mode, which is uh, um, rate mode, okay? So make sure after you make any of these changes, you always hit the save in the lower right-hand corner, right there. So. <laughs> All right, so those are the things that your copter is waiting for you to program before you fly. If you don't take the time to program these things, your copter will not fly. And it, if it flies, it might be in the wrong mode. So just make sure that uh, you do this and as a bare minimum, and you can go and do what's called PID tuning later on uh, down the road um, once you get a handle on your copter, okay? So that is that, guys, so make sure that this is what you do.